always going to have a situation where regulation trails innovation. So whatever we're inventing isn't regulated yet, and then we invent it, and then laws come about to try and control, constrain, enable, whatever laws try to do around those things. Think about drones, right? So we had laws that regulated airplanes. We, had, we probably had laws that regulated kite flying, but we didn't have any laws that regulated these things called drones because there weren't these things called drones, right? And now all of a sudden we have people flying within five miles of airports and the FAA would like us not to do that and flying over 400 feet and they'd like us not to do that and they come along and they say, well, you know, here's this new way of looking at it. So in data, the problem is that data is is constantly changing. When we use the term big data, we're talking about volume, velocity, veracity, value, variety, all of those V's of big data that are changing at ridiculous rates, rates that I can argue we really can't even measure. And yet we have countries and we even in some cases have municipalities trying to regulate how we might use that data. So the, the, the ways in which they do it are very nuanced. One way in which they do it is to try and protect things like intellectual property or like the, the copyright laws and so forth. So if you publish something on the internet and there's all of a sudden millions of copies of it, has it been put into the public domain or do you still somehow own the rights to that? That's a complicated question when you put it there and you sort of launched it into that space. And then what about the unintended use of information? So if somebody can figure out the ways in which information is being used and misuse it or at least use it in a way that was otherwise unintended. There's a website, I think it's something like I Know Where Your Cat Lives, where people took pictures of cats on the internet and they looked at all the metadata that was associated with those pictures and they constructed like here's the house and here's the street and here's a street view of it. And you know, the implication is kind of it's not just your cat we're talking about here. So are they breaking any law? I don't know. They're certainly crossing the creepy factor, but are they breaking a law, right? And then you find people doing things that are clearly malfeasant, like identity theft or like um, purporting to be something that they're not in terms of the size or the tenor of their, of their company. And these problems are notoriously diff difficult to regulate from a data perspective because in data science we call these quantum observation problems. When you observe the malfeasance, the people that are doing it change what they're doing. So you only ever know what they were doing, not what they will do or what they're likely to do. So how do you regulate something like that that hasn't happened yet? All of these things are being considered all over the world. So what happens is you get this hodgepodge of laws that happen. One country says you must keep your data this way, and you must copy your data this way, and this is how you may or may not share it. And another company says you must not keep your data this way. And in many cases, they're actually saying opposites to each other. And a company like Dun & Bradstreet is trying to operate globally, so we have to be observant of those different regulations and compliant with them as they change around the world. We also have to be good advisors to the regulators that are writing those laws to help them understand some of the implications of kind of getting it wrong or at least making new mistakes going forward.